unless you've been hiding up under the rock, you've been hearing everybody talk about these NFTs, these non uh whoa, I forgot the F in it tokens, non fungible tokens, something like that. NFTs, right? Pretty much digital artwork. You've been hearing probably probably been hearing about uh digital real estate, people buying and selling digital real estate, people se- buying and selling digital artwork, people turning books into NFTs, turning artwork into NFTs, games into NFTs, building avatars and selling them. And it's kind of became a hot thing, especially on the real estate side of the house, too. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I know um, the big thing was Coinbase. I have a Coinbase account and probably a couple of months ago, Coinbase came out and said, hey, we're going to launch NFTs. I said, awesome. This is the place I can go buy uh, NFTs from. But come to turn out, they haven't done anything so far as of yet. They have the biggest audience and the biggest base, but they haven't done anything with it. So that led me looking around to see, well, who are the main players in NFTs? And then all of a sudden, you know, I get introduced to the metaverse with Facebook when they changed their name to Meta, to the parent company Meta. And then I started to look into the metaverse, to NFTs, Ethereum. I already knew about Ethereum and knew about NFTs, but I got introduced into the metaverse and the metaverse kind of put all this together. So if you're like me in this episode, I'm going to show you how I set up uh, a sandbox account and how you can buy. How I can buy, I haven't purchased one yet, an uh, NFT, and how you can create them to be sold as well. So y'all join me on this trip. And if you haven't done so already, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and make sure. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. Hit that like, comment, and share button. Again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, you are now tuned into the Investor Show. As always, this is your gracious host, the Prince of Investing, Prince Dykes, coming to you guys and girls live all the way from the beautiful city and state of Denver, Colorado. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button. And, it, and as always, I don't have a lot of time. And I definitely know you guys and girls don't have a lot of time, so we're going to jump straight into it. So, of course, this is a very late night episode. I don't expect anyone to be in here, but if you are in here, tell me where you're from. Tell me where you're checking in live from. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking at my screen here, you can see that I have pulled up here Sandbox. Sandbox is, uh, this is this whole metaverse thing. You probably saw me talk about a couple episodes ago where uh, Facebook kind of made it very popular. It was a very big 2.0 company that is talking about the 3.0 web. The 2.0 web company Facebook is talking about the 3.0 web of um, the metaverse. So essentially when I look at the metaverse, it reminds me of, I had buddies that played League of Legends. I think it's called League of Legends or World of Warcraft or Roblox. Um, That was like the old school. Nowadays, you're seeing kids play Fortnite all day long. They play Pokemon all day long. Like my son, he bounces between his iPad and television and Nintendo Switch and phone right so they're these kids essentially creating their own world they're creating their own players they want to play with their own people this is what they're doing right so this became very hot top a very hot topic when we started talking about digital real estate we started talking about kids building and selling nfts all this other stuff like that and facebook you know like i said earlier they put it on the map uh, big time on the mainstream when they started talking about facebook changes name to meta so essentially what this is, this is like creating your own world of where you can buy and sell things. You can create games in here. You can create layouts. Uh, this is very popular for companies like Roblox, like people who play video games, people who play who are very big in the video games, who play video games all day. Um, you know, back in the day when I played video games, I play games here occasionally, but when I was a kid and I played video games a lot, you know, we probably played a little football game, little Mortal Kombat, Madden, NBA 2K, whatever have you, maybe a little Mind of War, whatever it was. We play a little video game, then we turn it off, and then we go back into reality. What the metaverse is doing, it is keeping you into a virtual world all day long. So nowadays, look at the kids play games now. They can receive phone calls, they can send text messages, they can, they got chat rooms, they got, uh, they can video with each other. They can video each other and watch each other play. They can buy and pay bills. They can order stuff on there. It's just getting crazy. Now kids can sit down, order food, order food to come to their house. They can order potato chips. They can order Taco Bell. They can order Mountain Dew, play video games, play their favorite music, uh, create their own players. It's like their own world they can create. The metaverse is saying, hey, this is the Internet 3.0. 
Uh, instead of bouncing around between websites, take me for example. I'm not a video game person, but I spend a lot of time on YouTube. I spend a lot of time on Facebook, a lot of time on Instagram, a lot of time on Amazon, um, researching things, bouncing back and forth. So I'm partially about 75% into the metal world, whether I know it or not, right? So anyway, let's talk about it here. So to create your account, I chose to, when you, I'm logged in right now, but if I wasn't logged in, you go to sign up, create an account. Once you create the account, you can kind of link your wallet. Um, if you have a Binance account, you can really uh, link it very easily and well. But I didn't link mine because I have Coinbase and Crypto.com. I didn't see them. So I created a new account and boom, I'm in here now, right? So you can link it with your Facebook, social media, different types of ways you can uh, link it, right? So once you link it, you have to fund it like everything else. You know, it's funded. It's backed by Ethereum. That's why I'm a very big believer in Ethereum. It's backed by Ethereum and SAN. This is their own currency they have inside of Sandbox, SAN. And it's also on the blockchain technology and, you know, backed by, you know, Ethereum on the blockchain. Y'all excuse me there. So for right here, when you walk in, let's go to the market. You go to the left hand side here and go to the market. Once you go to the market, here are the NFTs for sale. You can sort by NFTs for sale by the newest ones. Let's go by the lowest price. Let's go by the lowest price. So the top price here is the sand. How much it costs in sand? 5.25. And then it got how much it costs in USD, which is $28.40. This is a old mining pixaxle. Then you got a Black Widow. You got Charlie, you know, whatever the case may be. And they go up. Now, let's go by the highest price. Let's see if I can go by the highest price right here, right? Look at some of these NFTs. This is a robot in incubator, right? This thing is going for, hold on, let me stretch this out a little bit more, see if I can. Look at this thing. It's going for $56,805, right? This is the, the most expensive, the highest NFT collection that you have here. You got a Peacock Idol. Now, one of the things is, I don't know exactly what you do with these things when you buy them. I don't know if it's just artwork. You just hold it like we do with art. Some people say, some people say you can add these into your own world, right? To say, hey, I want to create my own world or whatever. But here they are. These are NFTs that are for sale. You have to fund your account. Once your account is funded, you can start buying an NFT. And if you want to buy it, you go here to the little cart. And that's how you can buy it. But you have to put your money inside of this or unless you could connect your crypto wallet along with it. Now, let's go to the buy side. How do you uh, create? I meant to say, ladies and gentlemen, how do you create an NFT? So one, you have the game maker where you can create your own games. You can download your own games or whatever. But right here where it says game maker, go over to voice, voice edit, edit. So voice edit, right? You download this. Um, you download this. I'm going to play this video for you here. And once you download Vortex, right, this is how you're going to create your own NFT. Here we go. I'm going to play this. Hopefully, y'all can hear this too. Before exporting to the marketplace, it is important to make sure that the asset is compatible with the game maker guidelines. Make sure it is facing forward with the white arrow. Models should have their pivot point positioned at the bottom center, unless you want the object to go down inside the floor where it is placed like a lily pad on the surface of water. You see this, how they're creating this? Animated assets should face forward on every animation and be positioned centered on the top floor of the grid, just like static models. Box Edit is capable of making very detailed models that do not optimize well for game development. For now, it is recommended to keep the face count of an asset under mm. 5,000 quads or 10,000 tris, which can be measured in the animator. The artist guidelines linked at the top of the welcome screen give more details on how to create for the game maker. To upload to the marketplace, first make sure that you're logged into your Sandbox account in your default browser. If your asset is animated, play the animation in front of and pause on the best frame for making the thumbnail. All right, so right there in the beginning, let me play this in the beginning here. You can see Before they're creating the marketplace. Right here, you can see they're creating a, a Coca-Cola vending machine, right? A very detailed Coca-Cola vending machine. I'm guessing this is something you can put in your own world and sell it. Um, you, you can sell it in your own world or you can sell it itself or whatever the case may be. But and they're telling you how people can create it. Now, these are avatars is creating, too. So look at these avatars um, that they're creating and you can actually have a move. And look, you know, my son loves dinosaurs. So I would 
you know, I'm looking at getting my 10 year old son um, into this. Like, hey, you know what? You want to create your own games? You want to create your own avatars? You like to play with dinosaurs? Hey, let him create his own dinosaur and, hey, you know, sell it for 10, 20 bucks, whatever the case may be. This is the new age of, hey, I remember when my dad, I remember growing up and my dad, um, we didn't, I didn't like reading a whole lot. I like to leave reading like Sports Illustrated magazines. And my dad didn't see that as productive. So, he was like, he just took them away from us. Anything that we like reading, like, you know, or whatever that he thought was bull crap, he took it away from us and said, hey, this is not schoolwork. So you got to read school books. You know, these books don't count. And that's something I look back on my dad and say, hey, you know, you should let me read those Sports Illustrated books. It still was getting me the basic concepts of reading. It's just maybe one as productive as like reading an algebra book or something. But it would still help me with those basic um, reading skills. So I look at it this way, too. If your kids like to play games all the time and stuff like that, I'm going to get my son a little laptop, get him a sandbox and say, hey, you know what? Have at it. Play with it. See what you can do. At least it could be something that you can end up teaching me. But you download Vortex, you can see right here, uh, Vort, Vortex, Vortex Edit, Vortex, ah, I can't even say it, Vortex Edit, right? And once you do it, you have your animator in here, you got an NFT maker on the inside, you can see here, uh, you got an animator, uh, a modeler, and you can create artists, you can do quotes and things like that or whatever, right? And you can upload them and sell them. So right here, this is how you can create your own nfts your own avatars own things that people are adding to their worlds that i've seen in some cases and then you have it on the other side where if you want to buy something and just hold on to it i guess and um, i don't know how you get updates on the market and who has the value that's one way you can do it as well and then on the other one buying the land the land side where was the land side at you go back home here and you go buy land right it's, it's kind of crazy when you look at this you go buy land let me switch my uh, stream that y'all looking at. Let me go back so we can get to this by land one. Y'all give me one second. Um, let's see. Y'all give me one second here. Where's my by land one? Okay, there we go. So you take this one right here. This is supposedly the land one where you see it's the open sea. Right, so you're seeing land in here go for. Make sure I got these prices right. Let me blow it up so y'all can see it too. Look at these land prices in here. They're going for what two ninety five? I think that's in sand. Uh, the sandbox coin offer. So this is the land where people are saying, "Hey, they're buying land near certain areas or whatever." So these are different lands, the auctions they have in for land, land that's for sale, open sea. This is the digital land that you hear people talk about. So, yeah, some crazy stuff is going on in the world that I see. And you hear you have the buy now button, but you have to fund it, uh, you know, fund your account once your account is funded. I haven't even funded mine yet. But, hey, yeah, this is digital assets, digital land that people are getting. Um it's a, a crazy world, a whole new world of investing out there that I want to open everybody up to with the metaverse, the digital land, the digital NFTs, artwork, and creating them yourselves. All right. Well, let me see what y'all say in the comments before I roll up out of here. I know I've seen some people in here commenting. Let's see what we got. Peace Smooth. What's going on, Peace Smooth? I haven't seen Peace Smooth in a while. What's going on, Peace Smooth? He says, Peace and Blessings from Las Vegas, my guy. What's going on? I just left Vegas about. Two a couple weeks ago, I was in Vegas. Uh, I'm dropping that interview. I did an interview with uh Brandon Marshall, the linebacker out there for uh, he was on the Las Vegas Raiders for a while, spent a lot of time out here in Denver. But uh, yeah, just left Vegas. I'm dropping the interview piece by piece. Y'all check out his interview. I just dropped the first piece of his interview. Um, pretty cool thing, pretty cool perspective. So yeah, just spent some time. Okay, uh, who else we got here? Willie Williams says. I'm wondering how I could create NFTs. Hopefully, I can learn soon. Help me, Prince Dykes. <laughs> William Williams, hopefully you got something out of this episode. We just walked through it about creating an NFT, downloading the VOX edit, box edits, box edits. They put it together and creating the NFTs and the animations and things like that. So hopefully you got something. I hope you can download that and uh, create some games and some NFTs and avatars. So hopefully you can do that. Um, also he said, I, 
Uh, Peace Smooth. Peace Smooth. Also, let me give a round of applause for William Williams for checking in. All right. Peace Smooth said, I took a look. And he said, I took a look on here last week to see the hype behind Sandbox Digital Land. The price on the those are, he got the eyeballs on here. Yeah, they're pretty crazy. They're pretty high. They are definitely high. Um, okay. This is 2020. Rise above. Man, I need to should have worn my glasses tonight. He said, click the like button. This is important information. Definitely please click that like button if you like what I'm putting down. All right. William Williams says open C is very expensive to buy on. Yeah. Um, that's the only one I really know of. I'm going to look into Decentraland as well. Uh, Sandbox and Decentraland, those are the two big ones. I own some of the Mana. I haven't brought any Sandbox on my coin, uh, my um, crypto.com, but I got some Mana, and I'm probably going to look into getting some Sandbox. But, um, yeah, this is what they have right here on Sandbox. They are pretty high, but I think you can filter it down. Let me see. Let's see if we can filter it down here to see how cheap this digital land is, the cheaper pieces. Uh, let's see here. No, no, we don't want to go now on auction. Okay. Yeah, they are pretty high because this is, <laughs> yeah, we're going, I think I got the setting on from low to high. It doesn't have a conversion for dollars. It doesn't have the conversion for dollars on here. That's kind of weird, but let's take a look. On the item, you get 11 items here. But yeah, usually they had the conversion for dollars on here, but this one doesn't. Okay, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, six thousand five hundred eighteen dollars is the digital <laughs> the digital land on here. And that's probably like the lowest price. Six thousand five hundred eighteen dollars, the lowest price here on what you call it. So, uh, yeah, that is a little pricey for digital land. That you know, um, but I'm look some other places. You know, look some other places. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think y'all. Hopefully, y'all got some out of it. You know, thanks for everybody that was able to tune in this late at night. I think it's about 11 people in here. Hopefully, y'all hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button. I wanted to keep this episode a little bit shorter, but hey, it's what it is. But um, y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all hit that share button. Check us out on the podcast. Check us out on YouTube and Instagram. And check out that Wesley Learns book series, teaching kids about investing, credit, and insurance in a book series designed for kids that make awesome gifts. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, and to the next video, podcast, cartoon, book, or whatever else crazy you see me doing around the globe, peace, be safe, I'm out, and thank you.